in the front row, then uh, Ronald Slamet, Slade Fedika, Tristan Pinar, uh, Alan John Fenter, Jason Lineker, Hilton Redlinger, Squinter Weening, Brad Bodsworth, and uh, up behind him, Mike Hunter, Keena Strode, Wayne Aronser, Johnny Schwerin, Gerard Frey, Wesley Hendricks, Leighton Thomas, Daniel Frost, and uh, some Keller Lewani. As they all roll up to the grid proper, on pole position, that man, Kewen Sneeman, local lad from up here in Edgemead. So, uh, see how this one pans out. Malcolm Rapson, the uh, fast accountant. Then uh, Slade Finnecake on the second row on the triple one wayward uh, ZX10. Alongside him there, Tristan Pina on the uh, BMW, the Red Baron, Ronald Slammett, rolls up onto third spot. And looks like everyone's in their grid positions. Sorry, Francois, just to say, I see uh, Keanu Strode is not racing this race. I went downstairs at lunchtime and he also he apparently has a bent valve on that bike, so oh dear. he won't be racing this round or this heat, unfortunately, but I see the whistle blows and we get ready to run the board man off. And he's off the circuit and the red lights are on and they are off. And a launch from all these riders, some up on their back wheels, all racing down to turn one. Kewan Slamon almost three wide into turn one, but Kewan Slamon gets the whole shot. But I think that's AJ Fenter, or even Malcolm Rapson around, he's outside. No, that's but Alan John Fenter, uh, they've got AJ a Fenter. cracking start from the third row. He's on the back wheel, he's got Ronald Slamon up there, and Tristan Pino comes screaming into... Uh, Cashel corner and he sits there fourth up behind Alan John. Ronald Slammett's got through to second. This is going to be a cracker jacker race. Yeah, I completely agree with you there. I see Tristan Pinot's now tr right on the back of, of Malkin Rapson at the moment coming into intercept a corner. And I think he's going to try and make some moves. There's a little bit of scruffling around there as they make their way into Sorrel Sweep turn four and onto the back main. Going into turn four, Slade Finikak's made up one position. He sits up behind Tristan Pino as they roll out of the second apex down the back straight to go. Led out there by uh, Kewan Slayman is already cracking on the pace. Red Baron, Ronald Slayman, Alan John Fenter is in there. Uh, and Tristan Pino, so they're all having a crack down into turn number five. Everyone rolls there into five, rolling around. And Alan John in there with uh, Slade Finikak, there with uh, Ronald Slamet. They work their way out. Malcolm Rapson's in the mix as well as they make their way out, come out in the Castle Bridge. Kieran Slamet, Ronald Slamet, Alan John Fender, Tristan Pino, Slade Finikak. They go through, followed by Malcolm Rapson. And uh, they all get their way through. Jason Lineker, Hilton Rielinger, Mike Gunter, Gwyneth Weening, Wayne Orens, uh, Brad Bodsworth, Gerard Frey, Johnny Schwerin, Wesley Hendricks, Leighton Thomas, Danny Frost, some killer followed, and then Kina Stroh is not in. Yeah, so this is looking good so far. I see uh, Tristan Pinot trying to make his way around the outside of AJ Fenter on that BMW S1000. He's, he's going to hold the inside for the kink, but I think he's going to have to back off because that tight little left-hander is going to be... And that's Malcolm Rapson diving... Oh, sorry, that's Slade for Nickak, sorry. Diving on Tristan Pinot on his... Uh, <coughs> excuse me, as they exit the intercept corner and coming into um, Sorrel Sweep Turn 4. Coming out of turn four, led out by Kieran Slamet again. It's a bit of a fish tail and gets on the pace there. Ronald Slamet, Alan John Fenter, Slade Finikak up on the inside. Alan John Fenter and right up behind them is Tristan Pino. And uh, Jason Lenick is in there as well. Brilliant stuff going down into a Pertamina Fostron corner. They roll out of Pertamina Fostron. Have a look at that. They're all uh, nose to tail stuff. Everyone jostling for positions now. Coming out of the kink now, it's going to be Kieran Slamet. Ronald Slamet's in second. Have a look in third. Yeah, it is. Uh, Going to be um, Slade for Nikak. Alan John drops down to four, followed by Tristan Pino, Malcolm Rapson, Jason Lenica, and then Hilton Ridlegas. I see there's a big battle now for that last spot on the podium. Slade for Nikak leading out from AJ Fenter, Tristan Pino, Malcolm Rapson, and Jason Lenica in that little group there. And Jason Lenica trying to. That's. Oh, Slade for Nikak and Tristan Pino battling it out at the moment. Sorry, AJ Fenton, Tristan Pino. And Tristan tries again to get through that king, but he misses out. And Malcolm Rapson is steaming into interceptor corner right behind Tristan Pino, but uh, he will not be able to make a pass as now they enter turn four once again. And coming through turn four, Sorrel sweep. Kieran Sneeman leads out again down the back straight, followed by Ronald Slamet, who didn't finish the, or the first race, sorry. Uh, so hoping for better results from him. And um, then you've got uh, Jason Lineker, who's in there as well. So Jason up now, mixing it up with the big boys. Here comes your leader now, Slade Finikak, up towards the line. Crosses the line, he's followed by Ronald Slamet. 
Then it's uh, Slade Finikak. Then it's Tristan Pino, Alan John Venter. And have a look at Jason Lineker giving Malcolm Rapson something to think about. No, I definitely think so. Jason was struggling a little bit in the first race, but I think he's found his legs finally and he's really wanting to put it to the fastest accountant in South Africa. Shame, you're not quick. I'm just as quick. And uh, having a look, Slam is starting to reel. Slam on in ever so much slightly. Slade for Nikak in third. Alan John, there was a Tristan Pinas through on Alan John Venter as they come out there. Tristan Pinas also on a fly there. Malcolm Rapson and then uh, Jason Lenica sitting up there. That's a lovely bunch of guys. All top class riders from Cape Town that are in it there to uh, jostle for the podium position. But a man they've got to catch, Q and Slayman, who's absolutely on fire. No, he is, he is the rocket man, as they call him. And you can completely see why with that rocket ship of a uh, 1,000cc CBR. And he is just steaming ahead. Two and a half seconds ahead now. Now we look back a little bit further at, as the battle for sixth place riles up with Jason Lineker still on the tail end of Malcolm Rapson as they make their way through Pertamina Fostron. Well, it looks the new, the new guard has come to take over. The youngsters are starting to crack on the pace and the old men are feeling the pain. Yeah, I can definitely see that here now, Francois. Now making their way into Holzhoek, turn one. Sneeman still leading out with a, six, a three and a half second gap to Ronald Slamet, and that is Slade for Nikak who is making his way up to Ronald Slamet at the moment and I'm sure he's going to want to try and get that second place back from him as he did in the first race. Keep an eye on Tristan Pino who's head of Alan John Fenter, he's trying to track down the back of Slade for Nikak. That BMW is getting the hang of it and he's starting to move there through uh, coming out in the scepter corner. There's Slade for Nikak, there's Tristan right behind him, then Alan John Fenter. And uh, they work their way through this. Malcolm Rapson and Jason Lineker giving each other a bit of stick going up towards uh, Sorrel Sweep. Jason looking on the inside. Has Jason got through? Well, we have a look. It looks like Jason's got through on Lineker. Jason, I mean, Jason Lineker's got through on Malcolm Rapson. Oh, there's a turn up for the books. Malcolm Rapson is now losing uh, his touch now on the youngsters. They're starting to get ahead of him. Yeah, I think maybe he's getting a little bit tired or maybe he needs to go back home and do some books. But... But right now, Kieran Stamon crosses the line with a 112.294. And the rest of the field crosses the line. But that is Slade for Nikak on Ronald Slamet into turn one. And he dives on the inside of him and holds his way through. So he will take that second position for Ronald Slamet. But I'm sure Ronald Slamet will want to be up behind him as they come into Castro Corner, turn two. Tristan Pinar is a little ways back in fourth place and I'm sure he's going to want to catch this little pack for second place as well as AJ Fenter who's sitting behind both or that, that whole group of three. Well, I think the ex-Western Province champion Ronald Slamet getting shown the way, the way around there by uh, that man uh, Slade for Nikak. There's uh, Q and Slamet. Here comes this titanic tussle here. Ronald Slamet, he's got Slade for Nikak, Tristan Pino and AJ Fenter looming large up behind him. I tell you what, he, if there's any, if the only person that's going to keep up with him is his own shadow. The rest are going to give him hell. No, I completely agree with you there, Francois. And they are making their way down now into turn five, Pertamina Fostron. And I see still Slade for Nikak leading out against Ronald Slamet, but Tristan Pino is right on the back wheel of Ronald Slamet. I'm sure he's going to take that BMW, put it on its back wheel and make his way down the main straight coming to the line. Jason Lineker still ahead of Malcolm Rapson coming to the line, but as we come back now through turn one, we see Slade for Nikak still pulling away from Ronald Slamet and Tristan Pino still on the back end of Ronald Sl I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, they're going into uh, Castrol Corner there. Slade for Nikak, Tristan Pino all over the back of the Red Baron there. Alan John Fenter looks on. And uh, Pino is looming large there on the back of uh, Slamet. Is he going to try and pull a move somewhere? He's going to hang back. We've got two and a half laps to go. Two and a half laps left in this. I think Pino wants to get his foot in the podium. He wants to out slam it. And he sits there with him coming out of uh, Interceptor Corner up towards uh, Sorrel Sweep. Oh, it's close, it's close. It's too close for comfort, quite frankly, as they work their way out. That bunch of four having a crackerjack. Uh, Slate for Nikak, has got a little bit of daylight in there. But Tristan Pinar cracks it on. And AJ Fenter is coming in. AJ is going to take two as he gets through. AJ jumps two bike places, going down into Pertamina, far strong corner. A diabolical move by him, and he makes it stick. It looks like Alan John has come through to third. Here they come. Slade for Nikak, second. Alan John Venter, third. What a maneuver that was going into five. 
Yeah, Francois, I was not expecting that, but he obviously got the slipstream from both bikes and was able to trail in both Ronald Slammett and Tristan Pinar with a cut in on the inside of both those bikes into turn five. Now we come into turn two and uh, Slade van Ikak leads out this group of four. Now moving further back, we still see uh, Jason Lineker and Malcolm Rapson in their own little battle for, fifth, or for sixth place, sorry. And Malcolm Rapson is going to want to try and get on the back end of this youngster in his Jigsaw 1000. Yeah, lovely stuff there on Jason Lineker and Malcolm Rapson. They're having a titanic struggle going through the scepter corner. But Jason Lineker is going to be elated with this. That, uh, one of his idols of Kalani, Malcolm Rapson, to be able to overtake him. That's great stuff coming out of Jason Lineker as the leaders, well, not the leaders, they blow down towards uh, turn number five, Pernamina Fastron. Uh, we know that uh, Q and Stamon is out front. Here comes Kewen under the bridge, but we're looking at turn five there. It's uh, Slade van Ikak, Alan John Fenter. As they come up towards us, is Alan John going to get closer? Suddenly Tristan Pinar finds a little bit of pace, but Alan John, it's the last lap. Can Alan John Fenter catch Slade van Ikak? Unfortunately, I see um, Ronald Slammed has dropped off that group of four by quite a considerable margin. So there, it's AJ Fenter, Tristan Pinar on his, oh sorry, Slade van Ikak, Tristan Pinar, AJ Fent, no, sorry, I'm mixing up my, my riders here. It's Slade for Nikak and AJ Fent is on the tail of Slade for Nikak at the moment. And Tristan Pinar is trying to claw his way back to get on that podium. Yeah, I'm having a look at Alan John. Is he going to try and get Slade for Nikak dropping down? He seems to like turn five. Alan John is an ex national superbike rider who's come down to Cape Town. He likes to race. I spoke to Alan John about it. He says he's having lots of fun down in Cape Town. And. Uh, they're going to work their way down the back. Your leader, Q and Stamon, makes his way through some back markers down into five. There he's up on the inside. Uh, he's got his final lap. It's the flag lap. The flag's waiting for him. Here we go. And uh, what's happening down in turn five? q has got through, but what's happening in turn five as q comes to the line? Uh, something happened there. Someone overtook somebody. Yeah, they come to the line. I think Slade for going to hold it out. Slade for Nikak for second place with Alan John right behind him and then it's going to be Tristan Pinar. Brilliant stuff and here comes Ronald Slammer to drop right off the pace here in the closing stages. I'm not sure who this is crawling to the line as Jason Lineker takes Malcolm Rapson to the line for sixth place. This and is the number Kela, 49 Lawani. Lawani of Lawani. Uh, Some sort of issue that is. Obviously the bike cut out and he's rolled it across the line. <laughs> giving us a wave at the commentary box as Hilton Redlinghase brings that 87 classic bike over the line to take the, to take the win in Superbike Challenge. Brad Bodsworth, Brad Bodsworth comes towards the line. We're followed there by Quentin Weening, then Wayne Aron, sir. Mike Hunter, Gerard Frey and Johnny Schwerin all come to the line and uh, well that was their second heat. What? They've given us two crackerjack races. Sorry Francois, right at the end we missed out this little battle during the race but um, Wesley Hendricks and Leighton Thomas coming to the line now. They were battling back and forth and back and forth with Daniel Frost as well. Daniel Frost seems to have dropped off a little bit but the whole way through this race it was nose to tail for everyone all over the track yeah, and that was brilliant some brilliant racing nice uh, good entertainment and i'm glad to see that our superbike category has grown now um i remember i think gary who's now doing the cameras can talk with about three years three four years ago there were maybe five bikes on uh, not even two two super bikes on the road now we've got what almost 20 almost 20 odd this is really healthy for cape town super bikes i want the bikes to come back into their own again we actually haven't had a national superbike championship in South Africa for a good 10 years, a proper one. So I'd like to see, I think maybe with the migration of the likes of Alan John coming down, that um, it's nice to have the Alan John bringing down. Now, Alan said that he might want to bring a couple of the more guys down from Johannesburg to come race with him here in. Um, I know he's campaigning to bring them down as a group. So let's hope and pray that during the year we might have a couple of more, the likes of Michael White and oh, but we won't have Clinton Sellers in the ZX. Then we'll see Clinton now with the, um, in March with the uh, um, Extreme Festival. He'll be part of the ZX10 Cup. Apparently up in SWAT Corps, Clinton Seller just checked out and disappeared. He was so quick. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens down in Cape Town.